Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another My True Ancestry video. I've already done two of these so I don't know if you've already seen them but I will link them above for you. So the first one that I did was just my initial reactions to my results. Um, at that point I had the night package so I just showed what you can get for that and what my results were and it was so much fun so I'll link that one above. I think I'm pointing the right way. Um, and then the second one, I was upgraded to the Odyssey package. My True Ancestry were very generous. And um, so I did another video and I showed you what the Odyssey package gets you. I'll link that one above too. Okay, so what I thought I would do now was to compare some different results to mine. So my results are very European. So my ancestry is very... English, Irish, and Scottish. And so my my true ancestry um, results really reflected that. There was a lot of Viking, Germanic tribes, um, Celts. Um, my main sort of um, ancient populations were Saxons and Franks. So my true ancestry really reflected that. But I thought what I would do would be get some lovely volunteers from different backgrounds and see how my true ancestry works for different ethnicities. So my first volunteer is of a Greek background and I was really excited for this one because I love my ancient history and I love ancient Greece. It's my favorite. <laughs> so I thought that um, somebody from a Greek background would be just really exciting to do. Um, I was very sad that I didn't get any kind of Greek stuff in mine, but uh, yeah, this one was really fun to do. So what I'll do, yeah, I'm just repeating myself now, so I'll just get to it. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell because it really helps out my channel when you do. And now I'm just going to cross over to my screen and show you what it looks like to have Greek ancestry. Um, just another note, I'm using the Odyssey package for that, for this, these results. So um, everything you see is Odyssey package level subscription. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's get to it. <laughs> okay, so here we are back on the homepage and I'm going to open up Kit J, who is my lovely volunteer. And when I look at the analysis summary, I'm going to get her closest ancient population, which is Hellenic Roman. Super exciting. And then underneath, it'll give me a few other little combinations of populations that are also similar to her. So take your pick. It's just very similar to Jed Much in that way. Then if I go to the ancient sample breakdown, I can see all of the different um, samples that are in her DNA, which is so interesting because it's so different to mine. So many um, interesting populations in there. And then we've got the breakdown by era. So if I click on those, I can see what they are on the different colors. And then if I go to the matching samples, I can now see the different samples that she is closely matched to. So um, as you can see, she's very close to some of them, the top 99% match of all users. I can click on the little info thing and get more information about that particular sample. So it'll give me a little info thing. And then underneath that, it's got the, for this particular sample, the closest ancient population, which is once again, Hellenic Roman, the closest modern population, South Italian. Then they've also got similar samples, haplogroups, and the PCA and the research link, which I've shown you in my other video. Um, but yeah, you can do that for all of the matching samples if you'd like, and it'll give you all of the details about them. But if you scroll down, you can see there are just heaps. Um, There are so many that I am not even going to bother to show you all of them. So as you can see, there's hundreds. Um, so I'll just go back up and show you the top 10 samples by era. So that'll give you each period and the top 10 samples within that period. So if you can drag it down, you'll see early bronze age.
the late Bronze Age. The Iron Age. The Roman Age. The Dark Ages. The Medieval Age. They've got so many um like as you can see the areas keep moving around depending on the different age so her ancestors clearly sort of were concentrated in different areas at different times okay so that's the top 10 samples by era And then we can look at the outliers. So these are the most unique kind of samples that um, showed up matches. Huns, how exciting is that? They are all very interesting. <laughs> so once again, you can see it gives you how close of a match. Some of these aren't that close for her, but some of them are. And once again, you can click on those little info buttons if you want info about that particular sample. And the America samples, she doesn't have any. So I'll move on to the deep dive results. So these are showing you the chromosome matches. So um, as you can see here for this one, for example, you can see that she's the top match for this sample, the closest match of anyone who's uploaded their DNA. And underneath it, you've got the different chromosomes and the little blue um, section that shows you how exactly she matches to that sample. So if you wanted to, I guess, if you've ever used DNA Painter, you'll, you'll know a bit more about that. So once again, another really close match. She's number seven, closest match, um, number 10. So yeah, some of these are very close. Like Minoans, oh. having studied ancient history, I just find this so exciting. I didn't have any of this Greek stuff or Roman in mind. So um, yeah, super interesting to look at these results. If you want to know a bit more about the those little chromosome segments, I'll link my DNA painter video in case you want to watch it. Okay, but for now, let's move on to the deep dive breakdown. So it's similar to the other ancient sort of samples breakdown, but it's the deep dive breakdown, which means it's a little bit more um, closely matched, like, uh, sorry, a bit more, what's the word? Specific. So that's just the spider breakdown. So you can see all of the different um, different types of breakdowns that you've got. And there's the modern populations. So this is very similar to GEDmatch. It'll just show the closest modern population, which it's saying is South Italian. So yeah, that can so that's showing like you, you're in the middle, and then the other populations, how close they are to you. So let's just move on to maps. So this is just the European time lapse and you can click through it and it'll give you the different sort of age and the samples that show up within that era and um, you can have a look at where they fit on the map, where they sit. It just sort of shows you where your ancestors were moving about at different times. So 
So she's got a couple showing up in the Asia map. But you can also obviously at the bottom of the map uh, it has the different options so you can change the parameters and then you might get different samples show up. So nothing for Africa or the Americas. Premium Europe is going to be the sort of um, more zoomed in higher quality map. And then I'll just skip to archaeological Europe. And shows you where some of those remains are. Once again, you can change the parameters if you want to show different things. And the deep dive Europe. So cool. Okay, so moving on to the regional, arch I'm never going to get this one, archaeogenetics, regional archaeogenetics. So once again, you can click through the different periods and if you scroll down underneath the map, it has a little bit of info there about it as well. So it just really tells you what was going on at each time and where your ancestors were in relation to it or your ancient relatives to be more specific. So you can click through the different areas and um, it'll tell you obviously if you don't have any matches there. And more coming soon, obviously, which is exciting. So the next thing is the haplogroups. So these are the Y-DNA matching samples. And like I've explained before, um, females obviously don't have a Y chromosome, but the algorithm in this website um, predicts your relationship anyway. So it's showing the different... Um, the different Y haplogroups and it's sort of predicting a relationship there. So the Y DNA deep dive um, is going to be more um, more accurate. Or like a higher confidence, you know what I mean? Oh, whoa, <laughs> there's heaps here for the um, mitochondrial DNA. Um, but like you probably saw before, you can sort of click and drag um, to move different things around if you want to look at different stuff. Does anyone else find it kind of soothing just to watch it being dragged around? Sort of like watching fish or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, the um, mitochondrial DNA deep dive. So once again, you've just got that higher confidence. So it's going to be less samples, but at a higher confidence rate. So then you've got the Y DNA distribution. So you've got the different haplogroups there and you can click on them and underneath it'll show you the matches for that haplogroup and also it has the royal haplogroups there so 
So these are just all of the matches who come onto that particular haplogroup. And then you can click on the different sort of slices if you want to see different ones. Why did that move back to J? <laughs> anyway, I obviously didn't click it properly. When you hover over it, it shows it, um, but then you've got to kind of click on it properly to make it actually display, to stay there. <laughs> um, the mitochondrial distribution, so that's just similar to the Y, but it's the mitochondrial DNA. And once again, you click on the different sort of slice of the pie if you want to see different ones. And the last thing is the Y-DNA matches, which yeah, you can't do unless you know your Y-DNA haplogroup. So the DNA Spotlight allows you to see particular um, stories, like particular groups or areas or regions, and it'll tell you a little bit about that time and place and people. And then on the right-hand side, you can see there's different um, samples and whether or not you match them. So... Sample J doesn't match the Dorset Viking executions, but she does match the Minoans, which is amazing. Um, so as you can see, it'll show you the match that you have, and it'll also tell you if you have a deep dive match to the different samples. And then on the left-hand side, as you can see, there's a little bit of an explanation about the Minoans, and you can click through... And it'll tell you a little story. So you can learn a little bit more about um, your ancient relative's story. So all of the ones in pink are ones where there are matches. The ones in grey, um, there are no matches. The very first one had no matches because that's just a new one. Whenever they have a new um, group come up, they put it there first. So you can immediately see whether or not you match with it. Um, but yeah, Skeleton Lake. The Crusader Knights. I'm probably going to butcher this. Utsi? Whatever. <laughs> Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these words. I'm going to stop right now. But um, you can learn about them without hearing my butchered pronunciation. So, yeah, she's got the Egyptian Near East Gladiator in York. I matched with all of the Celtic Britain Gladiators, but she's matched with the one that I didn't match, <laughs> the Egyptian slash Near East. Okay, timelines. I love the timeline section. If my computer isn't so slow. Okay, so this is just the regular ancestral timeline. And as you can see, it's sort of slotted a lot of um, her matches in here. Down the bottom, you can alter if you want it to have different um, parameters. So let's say I want more samples in there. Or I can change the years or the SNP length. So yeah, you can see it slotted a lot more in there, which is still pretty crowded, so but it's good. <laughs> oh, Seleucid. <laughs> so exciting. I'm such an ancient history nerd. Okay timeline fingerprint you can hover over and see the lift the little different um circles and it'll show the matches across a time period i 
and the full detailed timeline. This is quite long, <laughs> but you can drag this down slowly and it'll give you from your sort of very earliest samples all the way down to your more modern ones, along with the genetic distance. So I know that I'm scrolling this fast, but I could not um, go through each single little one. This video would take forever. So I'm going to drag it down quickly just so you can see how long it is. Wow. <laughs> okay, PCA plots. Sorry, slow computer. Ugh, outdated. So once again, it's placing you and then all of your samples sort of around you. The closer samples, the closer to you, the further you get the drift. Um, so yeah, you can put your different kits, custom, the 3D modern and ancient will put, um, you can make short videos with it if you want to. I'm not going to do that now. Um, the genetic social groups is sort of like a forum, like chat room feature. I haven't actually used it myself, but I guess if you're interested in connecting with other people who are researching the same areas, the same ancestry, it might be cool to, um, collaborate. But yeah, like I said, I haven't used that feature myself. So you can select the channel, obviously, based on, um different matches that you have. And just the last thing is the additional features. So with this Odyssey package, you can add um, as many kits as you want, I think, or at least quite a lot. I've already got four in here and it's doing quite well. Okay, that is about it for this video. I hope that it was helpful and I hope that you enjoyed seeing what Greek results look like on um, my true ancestry. If you also have these sort of Greek and Roman and all of the glitterati of the ancient world in your results, please let me know in the comments or just let me know what you do have in your ancestry. It's really interesting to me. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, pop them below as well and that's about it so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i will see you soon in my next video bye guys